And after 92 years, if there's one thing that has continued with this festival, it's all about having fun. Yeah. The fun may be a little different uh, now than it was almost a century ago mm -hmm. because they didn't have carnival rides. Nope. Um, but we do now. That's right. And April Morton joins us in the middle of the carnival. April, which ride are you going on? Tossie and John, I'm getting on everything, including this right here. It's called the Thousand and One Nights, and it's a pretty fun, scary one. It's one that I really love. And here to um, talk to me about everything that's running and happening here is the Carnival Manager, Miles Houston. And first off, good morning, Miles. Good morning. How you doing? I'm good. So talk to me. How long does all of this take to set up? Uh, just about two days, usually. Just two days, just to set everything up here. Yep. That's amazing because you guys have plenty to offer. Talk to us, um, what exactly, what type of rides do you offer here? Uh, we've got rides for the little kids, the big kids, and the whole family. All right, so what are some of the favorites? Some of the favorites, oh, you know, everybody loves the old Screamer and the Ferris wheel and the merry-go-round, and of course, this one here, the Thousand and One Nights. Um, the Screamer, so what, what's the Screamer? It's that one, that tall one, it goes upside down. Uh -huh. We used to call that the salt and pepper shaker back in the day. Oh yeah, it shakes them up good. <laughs> so, um, so what about the adults? So some adults, me included, sometimes can't take the spinny rides. What do you have for them? Oh, I mean the Ferris wheel is good for the adults, the slide, the merry-go-round, some of the fun houses. So tell me what's your favorite out here? I like the Ferris wheel and I like them all, honestly. Really? This is going to be so much fun. You guys have so much to offer, and this is something that my family and I really enjoy. We are thrill seekers, for sure. And so um, talk to people. How can they get tickets and more information about um, the rides here? Just come right in through the front gates, and you'll see the ticket booths right up front. And you can go up and buy an uh, all-day wristband pass, or you can buy tickets if you just want to ride a couple rides. So what do you suggest? What's the best um, bang for their buck people can get? The wristband, for sure. And how, how much is that wristband? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars you can ride all of this. That doesn't sound bad at all. Till ten thirty at night. That sounds so much fun. So I know you didn't agree to ride with me, but I am going to ride. Tell me what's the name of this again? The Thousand and One Nights. And what does this ride do? Well, it's gonna take you for a spin. Are you ready? Oh, no. <laughs> I think so. I think so. But I'm going to give you a chance to clear out of here. Right. Oh, my gosh, Tati. So I know you're you're not a big rider. I am, and I just had to do it. So um, I'm strapped in. I'm ready to go wherever this ride is going to take me. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. This is how we start off the Labor Day weekend. It doesn't get any better. Tati, you coming over here with me, girl? <laughs> oh, my gosh. April, girl, I'm going to be there holding your jacket. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, no. So you have fun for me. <laughs> I will. Okay. <laughs> okay, I feel it. No, I feel it. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I see the downtown Romeo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> come on, Tati, come join me. 